I did my book on Amber Brown is not a crayon. The author, Paula Denzinger, um, she studied to be a teacher at Montclair State College, where she earned a degree in 1967. After she graduated, she became a junior high school teacher in New Jersey and went to pursue her master's degree. She was in two separate car accidents. Um, the second one left her with the temporary brain damage that made reading difficult. While recovering, she started her first novel, The Cat Ate My Gym Suit, in 1974. She left teaching to write full-time in 1978. She wrote over 30 books, many of which have been published in 53 countries and 14 languages. She passed away in 2004 after having complications from a heart attack. Some awards um, are Leggington Award, Readathon Author of the Year, Garden State Children's Book Award, International Reading Association's Children's Award. Um, the illustrator Tony Ross attended the Liverpool School of Art. He then started to sell his cartoons to magazines. After finishing school, he worked as a graphic designer and as an art director at the advertising firm. He later taught art at Manchester Polytechnic. His very first picture book was published by Anderson Press in 1976, and since then he has gone on to illustrate more than a thousand books. Ross began the Little Princess series, um, which he wrote and illustrated by himself in 1986 with I Want My Potty. He created the drawings for the Horrid Henry and Amber Brown series. Some awards were in 2003, the Nestle Smarties Book Prize, 1998, 1999, and 2000, the National Art Library Illustration Award, in 1990, the Kate Greenway Medal, um, and then in 1986, he won um, an award in West Germany. Amber Brown is a third, grade liver, third grader living in New Jersey. She has a best friend named Justin Daniels. Things were going great until Justin's dad got a new job in Alabama. Justin's family is selling their house and Amber's not happy her best friend is moving. I would give this book a five star rating. Um, Amber Brown is funny in the way she tells the story. It also goes through different emotions associated with a close friend moving. I know my daughters and my husband also had um, listened to, I was in the car reading it to my kids and everybody on the way to Tucson and they were cracking up laughing at some of the stuff and how she was saying it. Um, the Luxell score was 720, the AR book level 3.7. Um, an activity I would do, um, after reading the text, we would discuss Amber's feelings about Justin moving. As a class, we will answer questions like, what was Amber Brown feeling when she heard Justin was moving? How about when his house sold? Since it, they thought it was going to sell, but it never sold for a long time, and then finally the house sold, and right before he moved. Why did she refuse to talk to Justin? Then after they have been answered these questions, the students will write a letter as Amber or Justin to the other person telling them how things are going now that Justin has moved. So if they want to be Amber, they can write to Justin. If they were want to be Justin, they can write it to Amber and the other person's perspective. Um, they will get to include ideas from the book, maybe people or things that were happening at the time that they can update them on the other person with and add their own ideas. So that was my book and those are some ideas. Thank you.